This video is sponsored by Z2U.com, who offer heavily discounted COD points. If that sounds interesting to you, why don't you head over to Z2U.com today? Now, there are some fantastic free skins you can get on Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2, but we've got to get them before Season 3 comes out and they disappear. That's right, these rewards are likely to be gone, although it isn't quite confirmed yet. But as with the transition from Season 1 to Season 2, we saw almost all rewards get refreshed, which is a good thing generally, but does mean if you didn't get some of the amazing free content, then it's gone forever. So to make sure that doesn't happen to us going into Season 3, let's make sure we've got all the best free skins on offer. I'm gonna start just by assuring you that the awesome ranked play skins on Modern Warfare 2 are here to stay, so you can get them next season and beyond. The only things that will change are your modifiable coloured trims that are associated with your rating, so there's no need to rush out for this one. But now we move on to some DMZ skins, specifically the Sleet skin for the Milsim Operator. You can get this by doing the white Lotus Tier 3 mission, Nowhere to Hide, where you have to upload intel at various locations across Almazra and Ashika Island. Then we have the Gruntwork skin, again for the Milsim Operator. This is attained by completing another Tier 3 mission, but this time in the Legion faction. The specific mission is the Transporter, where, as the skin name suggests, you have to do some grunt work in the form of travelling across Almazra and picking up a charge, transporting it, and detonating it. Next up is the Microburst skin for Cleo. This is a Tier 3 mission for the Black Mouse Legion faction, so it's naturally going to be a little more difficult to get to the point where the mission is available. But the mission itself isn't too bad. It's called Medical Diagnosis, and all you have to do is extract three medical documents from Almazra Hospital in one deployment. Like I say, not too difficult, but can be a bit of a grind since you have to have dozens of missions completed before you get to this stage. Okay, now we have a Crown Faction skin unlock in the form of the Foxtrot skin for Reyes. This skin looks great and is pretty unique, especially if it does disappear after this season. But this does have the most difficult challenge required of the them all. It requires us to take and extract four tracking devices, then plant a tracker on three enemy exfil choppers in one deployment, as well as plant a tracker on the final exfil chopper in the same deployment. So it is difficult, but it can be a lot of fun too, and the reward is great. But to remember, the Crown Faction missions are only accessible for full Modern Warfare 2 game owners. Now lastly, we have the Biohazard skin for Koenig, which you can get for extracting the weapon case on our Marsra seven times. We've had this challenge in DMZ from Season 1, and we're unsure whether this is going to get removed with Season 3. But I would imagine it would be. There's got to be new incentives to doing the weapon cases on DMZ, or even a new weapon case altogether. So if you haven't got it yet, absolutely go and get it, because it's one of the best free skins we've had on Warzone 2, and it might be disappearing. And now that we're finished up here, why don't you check out this video to see how you can get this amazing Sasquatch skin for just a few cents. Or if you're missing Warzone 1 right now, enjoy Enjoy this look back at its greatest moments.